are they now? Horses that thrilled us over the years at Emerald Downs dot the landscape all around Washington State, thriving in varied second careers. Pirate's Deputy is a successful, well-traveled thoroughbred who's always loved his people and his people have always loved him. He continues to thrive in a new career away from the track. The now nine-year-old currently lives in Duval, owned by horse lover Ashley Colonel of Wyoming. There he's perfecting numerous event disciplines. Pirate's Deputy is a California bred, but most of his life's been in Washington. A 2005 Barrett sale attended by Aubrey and Sue Villiard, and Brennan and Ben Tweedy started the process. Aubrey and I both love Bertrandos, and we looked at all of them except that one. I don't know how he slipped through the, the cracks. So it was getting toward the end of the sale, and Brennan and I had kind of seen the horse, because Frank Gaunt was with us, and Aubrey and Frank were off looking at other horses, and Brennan and I were just walking around, and he caught our eye, because he was so big. We both yelled at Aubrey, you know, to start bidding. And he bid a couple times, and he turned, and he was probably from here over to there, uh, away from us, and he turned and said, what do you want to do? I said, keep on. Sue and Brennan Tweedy weren't ready to back down. Like the breeding on him, he was Bertrando out of Deputy Minister Mary's first foal, big leggy thing, and uh, they kept bidding, and uh, we'd look back at us, and we'd go, go, go. The colt soon had new Washington-based owners. Brennan fudged a bit on her promise to Ben. My husband, who was my boyfriend at the time, dropped me off at the airport, and he said, don't buy a horse. And I said, I promise I won't buy a horse. After the sale, the trainer in Billiard wasn't seeing a quick return on the investment. And Aubrey said, are you, were you girls nuts? There was nothing wrong with him. He was just big, lanky, not heavy body, but lanky, big, long legs, you know. And he said, this horse is never going to run it, too. And I said, so what? In the winter and spring of 2006 at Emerald Downs, Aubrey Billiard was happy to have misdiagnosed some potential in the horse he nicknamed Barney. Oh, he thought he was so precocious. I mean, that horse went out there and just knew from day one what he was here for and uh, really trained nice, and Aubrey'd come back to the barn with this big grin on his face. Brennan, aboard horses sent shortly after she could walk, liked him as well. I got on him uh, every day. He, um, he was fun to ride. He could be a handful. Uh, he was a big horse. Uh, I don't know if people really know how big he was. He ended up being about 17 hands. So um, when he got to play in, you were, <laughs> you were on there, but he, you know, it was always good natured, um, but he could be really tough. He could be really strong and tough to gout and love to train, and he'd go all day long. He ran a closing second in his debut to immigration, followed by a strong runner-up in the WTBA Lads to Stablemate Wild Cycle. Next up, the Gottstein Futurity, Aubrey Villiard, looking for the biggest stakes win of his career. But it's Pirates Deputy by two or three, running on his temple in a little bit, but it's Pirates Deputy who's going to win the Gottstein Futurity. Pirates Deputy is 16th of a mile to go and will win it hands down. Pirates Deputy by four or five lengths, never in doubt. Wild Cycle second. At the head of the lane, Aubrey wasn't even watching the race. He was sitting and he had his head down like this. And I said, Aubrey, Barney's going to win. That's what we call, call him as a Barney's going to win. And I said, here comes Cycle. I said, Cycle's going to going to run second. I says, nobody's running on down the lane. And Aubrey still didn't look up. <laughs> and I think right at the very end, he looked up and saw him go across so high. Pirate's deputy had taken the Gottstein for the Villiards and Tweedies. I think the extra 16th really helped him. But yeah, that was definitely the biggest thrill in my life. Before a second in the Cal Cup, he was purchased by clients of trainer Bob Baffert. He then shipped to Louisiana for the rich Delta jackpot and another outstanding effort. On the far outside, gaining now as they come into the stretch. That is Pirates Deputy putting in a late charge. Exchanger is down on the inside. A sixteenth of a mile to go. It's Bird, Bird is the word. Pirates Deputy on the outside, but it's going to be Bird, Bird is the word to win the Delta jackpot stakes. Pirates Deputy was second. He ended his first year of racing with a win in the Cal Breeders Stakes at Santa Anita, and what a year it was, nearly $400,000 in purses. In fact, he's still in the top 10 in earnings among horses who started their careers at Emerald Downs. The very nice man who was Aubrey Villiard was quite sick in 2008. He left us late in that year. He did get his way after Sue received a call before the season that Barney was for sale. 
And that was the last thing on my mind was another horse. And I got off the phone. I told Mr. Scapa I'd call him back. So I got off the phone and Aubrey said, who's that? And I told him and Aubrey said, buy him back. Everybody involved was ecstatic that he had returned to Emerald Downs. It was great. And um, that old ham, he, he knew the minute he walked down the shed, he started screaming his head off. He recognized Sue the minute he got off the trailer at her house and saw me in the barn and wanted his peppermints. And yeah, he, he never forgot a thing. He competed well in higher claiming route races. That's him number one in a 2008 race, part of an Emerald Downs poster calendar. Brennan's followed the post racing light. Found him a home, um, a, a gal from Wyoming, and she ended up moving out here and brought him out here. Um, she wanted him to be a three day event horse and he just loves it. He loves it. And I've been out to visit him where he is now and he looks great and he's happy and he's still a big ham and wants his mints. He's mastering dressage, cross country, and stadium jumping. It takes a pretty, pretty special horse to be able to do all three of those need a, a sound horse and a horse with a lot of stamina. He's he's had a he's had a good life so it's it's been it's been fun to be a part of that.